It's raining iguanas. Oh! 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 <laughs> Dude, look at these big ass ones. Yo, this, yo. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Don't just assume they're duck eggs because you see flowers right there. Could very well be an alligator that ate the duck and then decided to lay his eggs. What do you guys think? Alligator eggs or duck eggs? People, man, they, when they say dinosaurs are extinct, bro. Not here, bro. Not, here, not here in Florida, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, so I got a tip over here. Oreo Gardens could be festering with some of these there hairy iguanas. So, you know me, the iguana man. I'm going to come out here and check it out, assess what's going on. Uh, see if I can get a monster or something like that. You know, that's what the one thing I love about iguanas, man. Over here in South Florida, there's plenty full of them. I can come out here and I can just do the damn thing, you know what I'm saying? So we finna get set up and we finna give them hell. This is like an old people neighborhood. Probably like 55 and older community. But it was big. It was four pounds, though. It was like this. So it's like this big. Maybe I'm exaggerating. But it was like it was, it was like this big. No, nah, it was like at least like that. Okay, like, like this. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Still though, like you see how small they are here. Yeah, yeah. Over here, they're just they're tiny. They're like probably like five, six inches long. What you wanted to do? I seen Jurassic Park when I was a kid. You know, she's like, oh, you, all you wanted to do was like be, be like a paleontologist. All you talked about was dinosaurs. Growing up, I used to always be catching the little lizards though and shit though. Right here, this is one of our favorite fishing spots right here, bro. Yeah. In between here, yeah. You come to fish all the way down here from Coral Spring? Coral Spring is right down the street. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Is that close? Yeah, that's crazy. That's like a baby super baby. Yeah, that's right there, bro. Yeah. Easy. How do you get up on it then? Oh. Oh, you mean? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get some like other, like a strong bamboo rod, bamboo. Probably like, probably like, this is 12 foot, so probably like 15 foot. And then I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be making some more of these right here. So I, I'm gonna have like a gang of them. I could sell them, I could, you know what I'm saying? Have them for whatever. And then this way, we just expand the, you know, expand the hunt, bro. Expand the hunt. We can do a whole bunch of stuff. We could have tournaments, competitions. Iguana fry, you know, iguana fries. Box, yeah, exactly, dog, exactly. So, what, what do you think we should do with this iguana, bro? Uh, take a picture and move, keep, it, keep it moving. That's take a what I do. Take a pic and keep it moving. All right, we're going we're gonna to spare this one because right now we're just brainstorming, yeah. thinking of some things. You think I should get bit by him or not? Nah? Hell no. Nah, <laughs> Why not, bro? Why don't you think? No, nah, man, don't even take a chance. <laughs> I'm just joking, man. Dude, I, have you seen an iguana seat before? No. Nah. Let's see if I can show you real quick. Ugh. They're actually serrated too. It's like a serrated steak knife. So they're not, like I said, they're they're herbivores, they're omnivores, but really herbivores. They like to eat, you know, like grass and like, you know, flowers, fruit and shit. But at the same time, it's crazy that they're they were equipped with these kind of teeth though, you know what I'm saying? Like if they're herbivores, they, you would think they would have like more flatter teeth or but they have serrated triangle piranha shaped teeth, so that's crazy. Uh we're gonna, I'm gonna throw this guy back real quick. You think I should throw him in the canal or what? <laughs> Uh, why not, dog? It don't right. matter, man. Yeah, let, 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 let him take a little shower real quick. For real, bro. He needs it. <laughs> I think the way they swim is so raw, too. Dude, they swim, bro, they swim like, bro, they swim like Godzilla, dog, like in the fucking movie, for real, dog. They, they're just like slow motion, just... It's like they like, they like, they like, they, they put their things close and they like slithering through the water just so... Wow, Alright guys, <laughs> some reason or another we ended up catching this cute itty bitty hatchling iguana. Yeah, and it was funny, we were running around in circles, he was in the grass, we were trying, I, I, we caught him with the shirt, basically we got him cornered, we threw the shirt on him, he, he hid under there and we were able to get him, but we had to be really careful not to like, you know what I'm saying, hurt him in his capture. But seeing him now, guys, look at him right now, guys. This is the same big mm -hmm. 
five foot iguanas, but this is like just the the, the baby couple right weeks. here, That'd the inf right. infant, infant, maybe even a couple days, dog, a couple yeah. weeks, couple days. But this is the most vulnerable right here that they can ever be at this size, because you know, birds, fish, who knows, other iguanas, dogs, cats, will make fair game out of this guy right here. But this is just amazing to come out here. Look, guys, we have iguanas all under there, big iguanas here, and where the big ones are, that's where the babies are gonna be at. And all right, guys, I wouldn't advise anybody doing this getting bit by anything uh, but this is a baby things uh, do carry bacteria they do got sharp teeth and with some bigger ones that can definitely leave some damage so I uh, wouldn't advise that but this is a baby and I always wanted to feel how it felt to get bit by an iguana so this might be my only you know real chance of doing it without seriously hurting myself so we're gonna see we're gonna see if we can get him to bite if he wants to even bite he probably doesn't even hold on let's see he probably doesn't even know how to bite yet Come on, buddy. Are you hungry? <laughs> I don't think he learned bite yet, guys. He's one of the coolest catches that I've gotten in a long time. We've gotten really big iguanas, but I don't think I've ever caught a baby iguana mm -hmm. like this. And this, this is he's so fragile. He's so pretty. Look at the colors of him. You could, this is like the iguana at his purest stages before he evolves into, you know, into a Charizard or into something bigger than that. But this is him right here, though. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. Dude, this is awesome, bro. We were just talking about baby iguanas over there, too. We were just talking about it. But then we uh, we caught a baby, bro. Yeah. Oh, you guys let it go? He's right there. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? I know, bro. Yo, it's so fucking cute, bro. Right. <laughs> That's crazy. Now you can see why people That's get the first thing I said. People get him at the pet shop, bro. Yeah. No, but you don't even see him like this at Petco. You don't, dog. That's crazy, bro. But you so know. Wrong. And to think, man, in a couple years, that thing's gonna be uh, like yeah, that, yo. Speed. So speed. <laughs> it's more, is it, you guys just seen one? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Like I said, they already got, I think they already got their son, you know what I'm saying? And now they're just, it's, it's daytime. Let me try to grab one of these. There's one right there. Y'all see that, right? I got my phone oh, yeah, yeah. in a damn hole. And there go one of them curly tail. Mm -hmm. I think the brown and all or something like that. But I'm just, look, literally a hole in the fucking ground, man. This could be an iguana hole right here. This could be an iguana hole right here where most likely this little guy made his home. But I'm gonna leave this hole alone. I don't wanna find out what else could be living in here. Could be a damn python or something like that. So we was just thinking, man, since Florida has all these crazy, you know, lizards running around, we got monitor lizards, we got iguanas, we got tegus, we got fucking those, those cone-headed lizards that run on two legs, we got the little brown and all. We were thinking one of these days, what if they inbreed or what if they hybrid or something like that? You know what I'm saying? They make a interracial, an interracial reptile species, you know, like... There could be some future super lizards on the farm. And what if they all in interbreed with alligators one day or something like that? The point we're trying to make, guys, is we got all these reptiles running around and who knows, they might they might make a super lizard, man. Hey, we didn't get that on camera, but me and this dude just tag teamed this iguana right here, man. This boy tried yeah, running yeah, in that yeah, fence. Yeah. Oh. Look at that, for real. Basically, the iguana was right here. I mean, I was on this side of the fence, he was on that side. We were able to get him. Is there anything you want to say about this iguana, sir? Oh man, it's just beautiful specimen. Is it? Specimen, dog. Specimen, yeah. Look at hey everybody. Look at, color, dog. That's look, crazy. At, look at this shit. Let's get a hold on. Let's get this Let's guy. Get got blue on there? This guy deserves a cameo. Look at the different hues of blue, yeah. green, fluorescent, dark. And the crazy thing is, is this thing is so colorful. It's got stripes on it, and this is all by nature right here. Just the the way that nature intended him to be. This color right here. 
absolute magnificent guys and the crazy thing is me and this dude right here man we just caught him by hand no equipment needed just no equipment. just the manpower of two people and that was it but here you go sir congrats congrats okay okay but this is normal though man. let's see if he let's see if he's aggressive though we're fighting hold up we're gonna do an iguana an aggressive iguana test this test right here tests the aggression of the iguanas So this is not an aggressive iguana. I'm not gonna do that, but <laughs> the one time I do do that, he wants to bite. Check that out, guys. Look at look at just, hold on, man. This is gonna be the thumbnail right here. This is gonna be the thumbnail right here. Hold on, bro. This, that picture is too raw, dog. I mean, they say like, they're just like normal pets. You know? So do it again. This So this guy right here came up with a way to put an iguana to sleep. Just giving it a nice little massage on his third eye. You can see it in his face, he's starting to get kind of relaxed and stuff like that. He's like, eh. 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 Y'all give this man some likes, man. This man is out here put, helping these iguanas, trying to put them to sleep. Yo! We got some hot girls over here. Hey! <laughs> sun, the sun is just going away though. You guys, we're having a beautiful day out here. This is. This is a day to remember. <laughs> For real, man. That's crazy, bro. His head looks like it's blue, too. Look at that, everybody. This iguana is, is like fluorescent green, and he's got a blue head. So he's definitely a handsome iguana out here. Very attractive colors. Pretty sure he's going to... Right? Yeah, yeah. He's going to be... He's going to be... Yeah, male with the... He got his little thing right here. See that right there, his little thing in the thing right there. That, that lets the female iguanas know what's up, you know? Like, hey. But he's handsome. Skirt, skirt, skirt! It's hot as heck outside. Thank God this bridge got some nice shade and some nice breeze. Uh, C14 Iguana Bridge, one of my favorite spots to hunt. So much abundance of wildlife. So much different structures and habitats, just in case things get a little extreme. Right now, this bridge is a lifesaver. Woo! We're gonna go get Santa Drake, take a break, and we're gonna come back for the monster, monster iguana. Oh, nice! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Careful, dog. He's feisty, bit. He's feisty. Dude, that's, see how you start? This one's like a red one, huh? He's turning red. There you go. There you go. That boy's first iguana! With the lasso. With the lasso. Good shit, dog. See, right when you got it on him, it was perfect, man. We need a big one, though, bro. We do I feel need like it. this is like normal to us. <laughs> I feel like we caught way bigger stuff than this. Oh yeah, this is just this is just a this is just a nice little average size, but still, though, man. Yeah, still. Still, still, still. He's like gr he's green and red. Yeah, we yeah. on the map, boss. Right. We all on the money. Yeah, we caught the one of the fence, the baby one, and another one over there. Okay. So we just caught this one. So that's number four right there but and we like barely even been trying today right? just checking out the area kind of messing around talking to people just bullshitting to oh yeah 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 we've caught like four without even trying you feel me it's still supposed to be like longer than that right probably yeah let's see let's see let's see the aggression on this one this one might be aggressive but Oh look. <laughs> you going to sleep? It's working, yeah. yeah. So, my friend just showed me a cool way how to put an iguana to sleep and how to calm them down, right? This is iguana therapy right here, people. 
This is like, this is psychology for an iguana right here. You just, when he's feeling aggressive or he's pissed off, you just kind of just rub him right there at the third eye. Kind of let him go to sleep. Yeah, yeah it kind of relaxes. <laughs> and now, you don't know what, he don't know what's going on. He's sleep. oh. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. He don't know if this is a dream or what. Here, show, show off the iguana bit. Hey! <laughs> His eye, bro. His, what? Look at his eye, dog. Look at that vein in his eye. Like, going around it. It's crazy, bro. People, man, they, when they say dinosaurs are extinct, bro. Not here, bro. Not, every not here in Florida, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, like. You want Godzilla? Godzilla. Yeah, Godzilla. Came off. Neck is too small. Oh yeah. I swear, man, we over here in, in Florida's wetlands, trying to get them iguanas. Oh yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> look at look at my freaking shoes. Oh oh shit. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy, bro. Oh, shit. Holy shit, bro. Oh! Oh my god. Bro, there's like 10 there was like 10 iguanas just right here. It smells like iguana shit. Iguanas everywhere. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Yo, iguanas are everywhere, everywhere, everywhere out here. I found a way to force them this way. Oh shit. When the time is right, dog, there's, there's, I know there's monster iguanas out here. Gotta be. Did he clear it? Aw, fuck. Oh shit. Dude, be careful by the lake, dog. Look at this shit. Yeah. Remember what I was telling you people? Whenever you guys fishing by lakes, hunting iguanas, doing any kind of outdoor activities by the lake, you guys want to be very, very careful because It's raining iguanas. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Dog, it's raining iguanas, bro. Oh! <laughs> Dude, look at these big ass ones. Yo, this, yo. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. We got eggs right here. This is crazy, it's raining iguanas, people. We got a big one right here. Oh! <laughs> oh shit. Dude, that is a big one up there too. That's probably like a probably like a seven, eight pounder right there. So well, apparently iguana poop kind of smells like cow poop. Cow manure. cow manure. So it's got that same shitty quality. <laughs> no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no, no one. That was the one it just <laughs> Hey guys, if you guys know what kind of eggs these are, leave a comment below. Don't just assume they're duck eggs because you see flowers right there. Could very well be an alligator that ate the duck 
and then decided to lay his eggs. What do you guys think? Alligator eggs or duck eggs? This tree is absolutely infested. And as you guys can see, like right around the tree, notice how this whole place is like, you know, nice and fertile. We got grass growing, trees growing, other plants. Notice right around this tree, how it looks barren. It's just dirt, it's kind of, the grass is kind of dead. It's all from that iguana poop. Iguana piss all around it. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys gotta watch out too when you're by trees. You don't wanna get hit on the head with an iguana. Oh, there was a big one right there. They're masters at climbing. Look at that, guys. 35 the tree. Real quick, I just wanna show you guys iguanas chilling in the tree right there. They look like branches, but that's one iguana right there in the middle, two iguanas right climbing on top of them. There goes another iguana. There goes another iguana. It's like the more you look into the tree, the more iguanas you will actually see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> These iguanas, guys. They're... Yeah, you see that guy over there in the blue shirt, man? He's a douchebag, bro. Basically, man, we over here catching some iguanas, hunting, doing our thing, you know. Living life. Living life. Living life. Not life. bothering nobody. Not bothering nobody. <laughs> he wants to come out here. And tell us this is private property. My dog lives over here. My dog, and I don't even live here, but I live here now though. <laughs> I live here from today now, from today on, I live here now. So. He lives here, dog. No, my dog lives here, and we still trespassing because my still dog. Still trespassing. You know why we, you know why, I know why we trespass. It's raining iguanas. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> dog, it's raining iguanas, bro. Tree. Like how do how do how are we trespassing, bro? I think the man is just being a crab, dog. I think that's what it is, dog. The man is being a hermit crab. He just came out his shell. He just came out just to act a little crabby, you know what I'm saying, and ruin some fun, man. But it's all good, cause we got more adventures coming up soon. We're gonna be new places, new territories, new iguanas, meeting new people. So we'll still take it as a W, and uh, we'll let the crab go back in his shell. All right, guys, we're gonna end the vlog right now, man. We gotta go, cause. Hate you, man. We, getting, we getting kicked out, you know what I'm saying? When we over here doing doing a service to this community right here. But uh, for the most part, man, we find we find new spots where big iguanas lurk, finding spots where baby uh, iguanas are nesting, and uh, we're just finding iguanas in general. So I mean, it can't be a bad day once you catch some iguanas. But uh, we'll keep you guys posted on our next adventures. Uh, until next time, guys. Keep catching.